Welcome to 420 Today, your marijuana news in exactly 420 words. President Obama has been very honest about his youthful love of the herb, and when it comes to legalization, it looked like his administration would be the one that took it over the tipping point. However, his nominee for U.S. Attorney General is not exactly what pot advocates have been hoping for. During her confirmation hearing this week, Obama's nominee, Loretta Lynch, said that she disagreed with the president when he said that marijuana is less dangerous than alcohol. Considering the Attorney General has the power to remove marijuana from its Schedule One drug status, the same status enjoyed by heroin, her opinion is important. Weed's removal from Schedule 1 status would enable researchers to legally study the plant and give recommendations on its safety for medicinal use, which could lead to federal legislation. Bad call, Mr. President. Delaware may have been the first state in the nation, but it's well behind when it comes to legalizing weed. However, that could all change soon as lawmakers consider legislation to make possession of less than an ounce of marijuana punishable by just a civil fine. Bill sponsor State Representative Helene Keeley said Delawareans shouldn't have trouble getting a job or securing financial aid for their education just because they were arrested with a small amount of pot. House Bill 39 would treat possession like a traffic ticket with a $100 fine that doubles if not paid within 90 days. Selling weed, however, would remain a criminal offense. Governor Jack Markell has indicated that he supports decriminalization, which makes it much more likely that legislation could become a reality by June. However, police unions who have a financial interest in keeping pot illegal are expected to oppose the bill. If the bill passes, Delaware will join the 19 states and District of Columbia that have stopped busting their residents for possession. Go Delaware! Finally, the gazillionaire geeks of Silicon Valley have been rubbing shoulders with gondrepreneurs this week in San Francisco to discuss the booming multi-billion dollar marijuana industry. Tech investors are betting there will be federal legalization within 10 years and are preparing to cash into a potential $200 billion industry. Boom! What do you think? Although individual states like Delaware are taking important steps forward with regards to marijuana legalization, will the new U.S. attorney take us all two steps back? Comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.